Hi, I'm Pastor Kim Knight here at Beach Springs Church. I serve along with the other leaders and helping to lead ministries. Um, I came today just to share a devotion with you that I've had this week in my Bible study time, and I'm hoping that it can encourage you as it encouraged me. Um, I was reading this week in the book of Esther about Esther and her life and how that she served God in many ways too, but her life wasn't always easy as we see that in, in the word. Um, she started out with her mom and dad dying and having to end up living with her cousin Mordecai and then taken from there, she was actually taken from him and taken to the king's palace so that um, she could be presented as one of the women who might become the next queen because the king had uh, gotten upset with his other queen and sent her off and so now he's trying to find him another queen. But anyway, Esther to me was a kind, she had to be a kind and humble woman. Uh, she had to be a strong woman. And you can see that in the word in her life because of, of the things that she did. But as she was taken into that time, she was taken in and even being taken into the palace, she says, you know, it says that she had to take a year to get ready for the king. You know, she had to prepare herself. And when she went in, the thing that, that struck out to me was how much favor that she had. She had favor with the custodian of the women, the guy that took care of them. He gave her the best room. He gave her more spices. He gave her uh, extra attendance as he gave her seven handmaidens to help take care of her. And that's the favor of God at work in her life. And then we see that as she moves into her place and she's accepted as the queen, before she steps into that, she goes back and asks this custodian, Although she's had all these other people around her, she's going back to ask this guy, you know, what she needs to do. And she takes his word, and that's what helps her to become the next queen. And even in all the things that she did, when she's going before the king, you know, as, if I were her, I would have been just as scared because in that day you couldn't go before a king because you could lose your life. Even though she was the queen, she couldn't just step in there at any time. So Esther... She is going before the king to ask something because Mordecai has been standing outside in sackcloth and ashes, you know, and he's praying, and she goes and sends out clothes to him, and he won't take them. He tells her what's going on, and then she goes back, and she sends a word to Mordecai, but hey, I might die in this, you know. You can't just go talk to the king. But he tells her that if she doesn't step up, that God will use somebody else to step up, you know. But he said, you've been, maybe you've been put in this position for such a time as this. And as I look at us today and where we are, we have been prepared too for the, such a time as this. We as believers, through reading our word, studying our word, talking, spending time talking to God, serving in our church, whether you've served in the nursery or the missionettes or you've served in the youth or you've been the person in the parking lot greeting the people, God has prepared us. You may not be aware of it, but God has been preparing you for this time. And you may look at yourself and you say, well, I'm not prepared. But there is more in you than you see. God has prepared you for this time. And you can be that outreach to other people. You can be the vessel that God uses you in this time. So that you can step out and you can touch somebody else's life. And you can help them. Hey, I'm sure that there are people that miss each other. I miss being here. I miss getting to see all the people in the hallways and talking to people. And I know that there's people out there that miss you and the way that you can be a witness of who God is in your life is just simply by picking up the telephone and telling people hey I miss your smile I miss seeing you you know I was even in the store today I went and picked up a couple of things and the, the guy was standing there and he had a little hand sanitizer thing with him and right when I stepped in the door he said hey I've already sanitized everything but I think the biggest thing for me was me responding and talking to him and asking him how his day was and those kind of things, I think it kind of surprised him because people are thinking now, hey, we can't be talking to everybody. We can't be spreading all these germs. But, but be as kind as you can and, and be a witness to everybody that you do come in contact with and be that witness for God and step up in this time. This is a day of opportunity. This isn't a day to step back. This is a day of opportunity as us for believers to spread the kingdom of God, to let the people know that God loves us in our good times and God loves us in our hard times. So be that witness for him and go out and be a witness for God today.